I'm very sorry guys. I think there is some glitch. Now all can you see me? Chaitanya, Devesh, Harsimran. I think there is some trouble. You guys are raising questions. Okay, I started from the back, no issues. Good evening, everyone. I hope we are, am I audible? Uh, audible, hai? Uh, I think we got stuck somewhere. Okay, so guys, we have just covered, we are talking about, we are at the beginning stage. I'm going to talk about the aspects of Indian economy. My sincere apologies, I don't know what went wrong because I have already covered some of the aspects of Indian economy. But I want to ask, am I crystal clear now, all of us? Shall we proceed? All okay? Good. And in case you have any questions, please type it in this where you are typing your queries. You have to type questions also over there. I hope I'm crystal clear. Now I'm going to talk about what we have discussed. So we are going to talk about how to prepare for Indian economy. And whatever things which we are going to discuss today about Indian economy are going to be from the UPSC point of view. We are not going to discuss the things just from the perspective of knowing economy because I have, was just talking, maybe you people were not able to hear me. That even a pan shop wala knows about economy. Yaar, pyaas ka rate to badai bad gaya. This onion price is skyrocketing. It is like this, it is like that. But your knowledge, your skill set, your understanding is far more than anybody else. Your perspective, when you are going to prepare for Indian economy, your understanding will be far more than somebody who is simply running a pawn shop. Mind it, I am not talking about their intellectual capability. I am simply saying that our skill set, our knowledge will be far more than somebody who is discussing economy. So everybody is knowing everything. People are knowing about politics. People are knowing about economy. Then why are we need to study Indian economy? You as an individual, as a citizen, you also must be knowing about economy. Yes, it is very important in personality test, the wish, 100% very important. Very, very important. Your personality is amalgamation of not just looks, how you look. Looks can change, but it is about the aura that you carry. It is about the halo which is behind you. The moment you enter a room, you carry a positivity. The positivity is of your knowledge, your understanding, and your strength. Right? We'll talk about certain traits, how to prepare for our interview just within a while towards the end of the session. Let's focus on aspects of Indian economy. Whenever you go for Indian economy preparation, the first thing which you have to keep in your mind is the syllabus. As I always say, I think my screen is not running. Screen is not running. Just hang on, I have to take, take on to the technical team. Because of certain technological, because of environment, we are having certain technological glitches. So my sincere apologies. Okay. So what is Indian economy in our syllabus that we have to go through? The first thing is concepts of economy and other related terms. 
certain concepts are never going to change wind is flowing like this this is southwest monsoons this is southeast this is northwest you are northeast these things are never never going to change we call them as concepts then same is the case with economy certain concepts of economy are never going to change you have to mug them up you have to understand them the concepts which are to be mugged which are to be remembered they have to be remembered and which have to be learned and understood forever they should stick with you forever it should not like that bas prelims ho jaye main sambhal lenge means mein to likhna hi hai agriculture ke bare mein infrastructure ke bare mein likh lenge understand there is interlinking of each and everything there is interlinking of agriculture with infrastructure when you talk about agro farms when you talk about agro processing units you are talking about agriculture as well as infrastructure you cannot segregate एग्रीकल्चर इज डिफरेंट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इज डिफरेंट पहले मैं एग्रीकल्चर कर लू फिर मैं इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर ये द गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स विल बी डिफरेंट फॉर एग्रीकल्चर कैन बी डिफरेंट फॉर इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर बट इट इज को ज्वाइंट यू थिंक योर लाइफ इज इम्यून फ्रॉम पॉलिटिक्स नो इवन इफ यू आर नॉट अ वेरी मच इन टू पॉलिटिक्स यू एज आई एम आई एम नॉट इन टू द पोलिटिकल मसाला न्यूज ये आई एम इन टू इंडियन पॉलिटी whenever i gauge something whenever i analyze something that article 370 is it right is it wrong i analyze from the constitution point of view not from which party who is saying what i do that analysis on for me for my own opinion building when i talk about the citizenship amendment act i discuss the things on the grounds of again polity and constitution and human rights but never by religion or other stuff correct so this is an analysis that we have to do this analysis we need to follow when we also get to our interview point politics should be removed from your life polity should be there the foolish economics concept and the conversation which are going on in the market should not affect you the real terms of understanding should be there i hope you remember few years ago we were having demonetization and when we were having demonetization the it was the time when our economy was growing like anything and at that given point of time the then chief economic adviser said that it can give a jolt to our economy and those after shocks we are seeing it today so whatever you are reading understanding whatever you are coming through you have to watch them through the lens of the concepts correct okay then we would move on to fundamentals related to indian economy agriculture is going to directly impact your economy how simple wo pyaaz hai jiske bina tadka nahi lagta chhok nahi lagta wo pyaaz ka rate badha economy hil gayi economy mulk ki to hili desh ki to hili साथ ही साथ में द इकोनॉमी वॉज ऑल्सो जोल्डेड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द कंट्री वी नीडेड टू इम्पोर्ट अनियन फ्रॉम अफगानिस्तान नाउ विद अफगानिस्तान वी गॉट अ ट्रेड जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ अ स्मॉल पीस ऑफ अनियन दिस इज हाउ वी आर एस्टेब्लिशिंग एस्पेक्ट रिलेटेड टू थर्ड पॉइंट प्लीज लुक इन टू योर स्लाइड्स वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमी स्मॉल अनियन कैन यू इमेजिन अ लाइफ without onion okay those who don't eat that's okay but we know that in indian cuisine in indian cooking and for an indian farmer for indian household if the price of onion are going to rise at an, an exorbitant price it is going to affect a normal small household a complete community agricultural community complete indian economy and then we had a trade a small trade with afghanistan from where we got the onions am i clear with you till now then when we move on further we have interlinking of our current economy with basic concepts current economy would refer to we are also talking about the virtual the currency the virtual currency bitcoins cryptocurrency that we are referring to and then final the foremost and it is my favorite document which is economic survey india year book goes very boring it's it's like you and i we are on the same page you you consider me as you and you know i know it's very very boring but in economic survey gives you real insight correct 
Okay, so we have one question. Let me take that question before I proceed. Any questions till we have, Darvesh? So this is how, and this is why, this is not how, this is why. Isili Amarili Indian economy, it's so difficult. It's like everything is there. And when we get stuck, when we separate Indian economy from our lives like a separate thing we need to study. When we take it as a separate entity, and then things will be done. So when we take Indian economy in that manner, in that respect, I hope others are also clear with my points. Chaitanya, Harsimran and Neha, others are also, guys, it's difficult for me to take names, but all of you are okay. No response, I'll take it as a positive response. I'm very positive. My blood group is B positive. So I'll take it as a positive response if you guys are not going to respond. Okay, let's proceed. The real problem erupts when, with reference to Indian economy preparation that we think that one book we have done. And with this one book, once we have done it, Indian economy is going to be over. Very good, Harsimran. Very good. We are not able to complete that book. And even once we complete that book, we are not able to do what? Solve many questions. What is our ultimate aim? Why are you sitting over here? What do you think? What has propelled you to sit over here? That's fine. That you will come to know about Indian economy. Your ultimate aim is to get good score. This is your ultimate aim. That is why you wanted to learn how to go for Indian economy. That is why you came today for the webinar. But if reading any book, attending my webinar or any other YouTube video is not going to help you, then I don't think there is any point of you know doing anything. And one thing more, last time those who are old timers, those who are now with me throughout my webinars, they must be knowing I talked about that I'll bring my book that how to make then and their notes. This approach of how to making then and their notes, which I'll discuss towards the end or maybe in between in middle. This is true to every book or newspaper that you read. I'll show you how I used to make notes and what, what I've done with my book. So this is something which is going to be true with complete preparation, right? So this is an NCRT, so which I'll show you towards the end. Now, The point is, Now, with the point of aspects of Indian economy that we have to see, and the first point that we have talked about is how to go for what? Concepts. We have macro concepts. We have micro concepts. Macro, micro, related to both. And we need to have the living examples of Indian economy. You can quote the why there was uh, rising onion prices. You can talk about other stuff. You can talk about the life of a farmer. Now, India is an agrarian economy. What do you mean by agrarian economy? Majority of the population or majority of the uh, growth that we are getting, it is not through the service sector or through the manufacturing. It is still the agriculture. That is why we are trying to say, let us do something in order to enable our agriculture very cost effective. 
still in the far flung areas of our country we find that farmers are not having the adequate equipment we know the problem of stubble burning why the farmer of punjab haryana western up and the areas around delhi is compelled to go for the stubble burning why are they not having the happy seeder what is happy seeder happy seeder was a question in 2012 prelims field correct this is how this chain reaction is going on you cannot break it so with the stubble burning with farmer compelled to go for stubble burning in and in the incapacity of having the inadequate tools or equipments or the machines what they are doing they are doing stubble burning and in return what is happening we know that the situation of delhi is almost like gas chamber i live in delhi so i know it's like you cannot even breathe it's very gloomy there is smog throughout why does it happen just because of the stubble burning and with health affecting health is going to affect again what the pocket out of pocket expenditure meri jeb se kitne paise ja rahe hain meri meri tabiyat kharab ho gayi mujhe bronchitis ho gaya mujhe bimari ho gayi so it is going to increase my out of pocket expenditure when my out of pocket expenditure is going to increase it is again going to affect not just my economy complete country's economy because it is not only me it is also going when many people are visiting hospitals it is also going to create an infrastructural crisis within the hospital now comes the health sector can you see me can you conclude that this subject can be studied from one book from one source 100% no you can complete geography history polity from i know all the sources but this concept cannot be understood only by going from one book this is something which i want to clarify microeconomics now we need not get into the details of economics we have to understand the economy how things are going on economics will con constructed of so many concepts which we not as uh, civil services aspirants we need not get into it we simply have to understand the basics once we know the basics once we know that okay this is repo rate this is reverse repo rate this is inflation this is stagflation the phillips curve the lefers curve the lorenz curve all these things once you know things are done for you then you will say what is left i'll tell you the left part will be concepts related to both and also your current affairs part current affairs current affairs current affairs upsc demands you to have a strong hold on current affairs and this current affairs you are going to exhibit in your personality test as well not just you know only by uh, writing something making notes is going to complete your current affairs you have to have a strong hold on it then how will you cover ncrts oh, sorry how will you cover your indian economy the basic books are the ncrts i recommend i have also gone through it you know how i started preparing for indian economy please you have to bear with my story now i am also getting some sort of you can say nostalgic by discussing with you when i started i joined one institute as everybody does and the teacher who was teaching indian economy was pathetic and i did not understand anything i was like very upset and i was like what to do what not to do i was not able to understand any concept anything you i used to sit in the class and blank headed i used to come back so one day i asked some you know people like i was very new i uh, i came from a native place and i was very new to the preparation and everything so i was like asking people how can i go for uh, you know this indian economy preparation uh no uh, i would suggest you darvesh for the while you can leave it but if you think that it is going to help you it is not going to increase your burden so guys for others darvesh is a very studious student of ours he's asking one question is it necessary to read separate newspaper for economics like epw so i say you can go for it i don't stop you for doing it but it should not increase your burden are you able to complete your hindu regularly in the time frame that you have decided if yes and if you can spare time to read this newspaper within that then it is okay but if you cannot if you um, cannot complete it but you it is increasing your burden it is taking away your time then don't, don't get into it correct so i was talking about how 
my preparation started i purchased one book which was like everybody was saying buy this one book huge book and once you have gone through it it's going to be you know very powerful first time prelims i could not qualify i was not able to solve even a single question of indian economy because i was like i had nothing to go for and i had completed that book and i have done my coaching and i have taken separate classes for coaching then with my own personal experience i decided to go for ncert then i became a master of indian economy i have taken classes on indian economy afterwards and i had on my own youtube channel as well so you can type sherry asing on google you will find me you will you will also find my videos on google so then i started taking understanding how to go for indian economy the concepts the ncrts i started with ncrts ncrts should never be missed but there is again a disclaimer there is again a caution reading ncrts again and again again and again again and again is not going to help you at all we are not over here to make any guinness book of world records we men the indian economy hazar baar kari maine 2000 baar kari aapko iska koi bhi koi bhi tagma nahi milne wala you are not going to get any 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 badge or any sort of trophy for that that if you have covered your indian economy perhaps 10 points 50 times or so forth understand one thing ncrts is for the basic understanding basic means basic once that do you keep on writing a b c d on every day do you write alpha a for apple b for ball and do you still have those small books with you with which we have started no and what will you say if i say that yaar main to aaj bhi a b c d practice karti hu you will say you are insane you are a fool and i say to those and i'm very blunt on it those who keep on reading ncrt then they'll flaunt yaar maine to ncrt 50 baar padhi bhai agar tere se itni si kitab samajh nahi aayi if you're not able to understand such a small book i don't know i i should not comment no comments second is the newspaper why because i have discussed a lot about newspaper in my previous webinars and today again i say newspaper the hindu especially no i am not going uh, i don't want you to go astray i don't want you to dwindle into other newspapers because it will increase your burden newspaper gives you an insight you think it's very boring you know there is a difference between evolution we have evolved we were babies we were infants we were then we became kids then adolescent then adult then we grow middle aged and finally we grow old and then we die similarly knowledge is also evolutionary we do not see that we are grabbing it we are understanding it but it is very unconscious and subconsciously it goes to our mind so it is an exercise that is why it's an exercise that you have to follow every day first week you when you will start reading your editorial pages and your opened pages you will find your life in hell kyunki aapko kuch samajh nahi aayega i think i have taken one webinar on reading how to read newspaper so the editorial page and the opened page these two pages that the pages they are the opinion section editorial page talks about the opinion on some sec some point like, like let's say on a, a forest fire which is there in australia rest of the newspaper cover the views rest of the uh, newspaper cover the news whereas these two point they is to cover the views right so when you know what is the news you can talk about views when you know caa completely you can understand what this person is writing when you know the problem going on iraq and iran you can easily understand an article written by suhasini haider in the hindu newspaper you will understand better but you don't know anything about the news part sabse pehle aapne akhbar khola to aapne khola hi wo do page editorial ka padhne editorial and there is a difference between editorial page and editorials in the hindu newspaper there are two editorials editorials are the articles written by the editor of the newspaper itself if i am the editor of the hindu i will write two articles whereas in case of indian express it is three the other two big big articles that you see these are the articles which you and i can also contribute if we have that acumen of expressing ourselves also we can express our articles to the opened page correct so this is an editorial page this page becomes editorial page because it is having the articles written by the editor and the other one is the open opinion open education correct 
i hope i am making some sense to all of us we are getting something more to learn proceeding we will discuss about so you have to be very much in sync with newspaper why you can watch a video you can go for anything videos will help you a third party you are involving main aap main aur wo newspaper me and third person third person can explain how can you be so sure that whatever third person is explaining is explaining right i have seen people explaining newspaper pathetically and they were having uh, you know huge amount of views getting views is a different thing never gauge a video just by its views views can be fake they can be purchased you have to see the content and you are already don't know whatever you are doing is right or wrong how can you judge this video is right or wrong ask questions to yourself it is very important i tell you upsc is a journey it is not about reading books it is a journey it is to know about yourself third is economic survey we skip economic survey we find it to be very lengthy very boring so we iski chote chote substitutes which we buy i recommend i strongly recommend read economic survey and i read economic survey till today though i have exhausted my attempts because it is something which is super important fourth is any good book on indian economy you will give me a laugh that initially you said that there is no book but yes you can choose that book for your own convenience for helping you out but not for the complete preparation you must have one good book with you that is going to help you but not as a complete and whole source of your life ki meri zindagi bas isi kitab pe hai these things you have to cover NCERT newspaper economic survey then you will come to the RCA any questions so far i'm waiting any questions guys if you want to ask me something how many of us have i think i have asked this question in the beginning as well you can write questions in case you want okay i think uh, i should proceed now indian economy when we have discussed about it do you think these things are confined to indian economy so this point this classification sectors of indian economy yes it can be somehow they are also true to every economy but we have to see the sectors which are functional in indian economy then these sectors they rely on something which is known as banking now banking does not mean that i go and i got money deposited and then when i wanted i got them withdrew and i got huge money to manage ki fd kara di this is not banking these days what is my question to you and i will not proceed till the time you will not give me the reply what is the burning topic what is the burning issue in our banking sector what is the burning issue in our banking sector i won't move ahead till the time i don't get my reply i don't think i have asked that difficult questions guys i hope you won't mind me taking some water what do you think is a burning aag lagi hui hai we don't know none of us ideas be there what will happen to you when you will be in interview board you guys want this webinar to end over here bad how many of us are first timers very good very good darvesh and can i get more answers Chaitanya what is your answer interesting very interesting npa non performing assets what is an asset you generally see that people say that we should always invest in the, those assets which give us a uh, repo rate is a news it was in news nowadays that how it is it's a fluctuation can affect indian economy 
yes the primary issue which is still there and it is lingering from the past it is coming from the past is our npa issue non performing assets our banking sectors they are completely worn out because of the assets which are non performing what do you mean by non performing now i am a bank i am giving loan to you maybe you were saying that you mortgage my property maybe you were saying that on something something we have just take it very simple understand economy in simple terms in the terms of common bhasha i am being a bank i gave you loan i also need money for my survival and you promised me that dear bank i'll return you this 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 percentage i cannot return you on the whole so this is a principal amount and with this much interest i'll return you the money i said yaar you give me money i don't mind that you are repaying the money with some interest on it what is interest basically interest is like you get more money simple this if this is the principal amount adding on to the interest your amount becomes this so you feel happy as a bank you don't you don't worry about giving loans that is why banks are very happy giving loans you get calls every day ma'am you take this this so but what if tomorrow i being a bank i keep on asking darvesh chatanya harsimran neha sudhanshu and others those who have joined that you all say you have taken loan and you all say hum nahi pay karte jao kya karna kar do le jao tractor hai le jao mera i won't pay or you are making excuses that okay i am not able to pay i can pay you this much or maybe you are a big you know businessman defaulters you are not small defaulters or you are big defaulters or you can say that this time i was not able to do this my business did not go well my startup was not well my point is by one or the other way you were not able to repay your loan it is going to affect whom me and for how long you were not able to repay loan if it is 90 days and above it becomes an asset which is non performing my liabilities sheet is increasing i am under burden now as a bank i am giving money i am not getting money what do you think how will be my life it will be hell will i be in a position to give more loan to the people no rather my own health is going to be shattered i'll be unhealthy now so this is the problem of non performing assets that banks they have given loan on those assets which are not performing which are not giving any remuneration to the banks for example if it is a house and when bank said when let's say harsimran said me ki mujhe mere ghar pe wo de do loan and i said okay as a bank okay theek hai and then when i went to harsimran i said harsimran we want to out the loan and he said that okay ab ghar le jao and when i went as a bank to sell into the market i got very less price so this is a loss sub prime lending crisis happened in usa we'll discuss it later on understood so this is how things work economy is also about psychology understanding the psychology the market then we have cryptocurrency we have virtual currency currency which we cannot see we have 100 ka note 500 ka note 1000 ka to band ho gaya we have to 1000 ka so currency which is going on in the air and there is a blockchain technology so blockchain technology is not only confined to cryptocurrency it is a technology blockchain encrypted one block moving on to the another if you want me to have a complete webinar on blockchain i can have that and in case i have also told you to be with me on my email where you can discuss things with me for ncrts i say that go for indian economic development it is very basic indian economic development is very 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 basic but still you can get questions from it like kudum shri i think this year's prelims there was one question about kudum shri kudum shri is an ngo which is actively working in kerala and they have also done a great work in the time of kerala floods it's a sort of self help group it started for all women kudum shri we can get certain questions case studies and the box items wherever if it is mentioned also in your newspaper and even in the books and even in economic survey please go through that introductory macroeconomics 100% economic books i can surely surely say you that if you go through this book 80% or maybe more than 80% of your concepts will be clarified through introductory macroeconomics micro you may leave but this these two please do not leave 
with this also take a look on human geography because certain concepts are overlapping like of population so human geography and indian economy they can also impact now census if census is going to conduct it again see how why the population the increasing population pyramid is affecting our economy so much so for economy economy is very burdensome but we can cover it step by step making notes right how do we know make notes that we are going to discuss newspaper as i told you now this was perhaps on 15th january newspaper 16th hindu newspaper was not there so when you see the editorial and open pages on open page every day there is a data point can you see this data point itself it is a news there is no need to go for any magazine you can have your own magazine and we can publish it as well just to joke prices in a pickle retail inflation you should know the meaning of retail inflation if you don't know just google it or read take it from your book and write down then then there five and a half year high in december 2019 and what are the reasons costliest component and the commodity these things are given to you so this is known as a cut and paste clipping cut it from the newspaper paste it just highlight the important points similarly crime and punishment we know about that much of the furore is going about the crime we know about the nirbhaya case and the gang rape it was happened in 2012 and the hanging and all that stuff which is going on so our country the crime and punishment students asked me one question that do we need to mention data do we need to remember data yes to some extent if you mention such sort of data that 3.78 lakh cases of crimes against women were recorded in 2018 what's wrong in it nobody can resist you giving marks nobody and even the interview board will be so much so impressed by your knowledge instead of saying crimes are happening they are increasing every year increasing increasing how increasing which how would you support yourself through this that this is the data this is the study conducted by ncrb and according to it this is how we see rape is going growing if you do not remember exact exact data remember an approximate 3.78 you can say it's approximately 4 or 3.80 this is how you have to figure out but this is again a very important information types of crimes it has been classified cruelty by husband and relatives it is again a sort of crime it is no longer a sort of domestic violence it is a crime correct and when you mention it in your essays again it enhances your credibility everybody knows everything but when somebody comes up with data with strong points it gives a enhanced credibility to that person we have a question over here economic survey is uh, the way you have you, you need to know both the data but economic survey is a document which is published by it's a sarkari document understand that and we need to go through it which is more important this is a uh, information related crime and punishment it can be society right it can be related to punishment we all know the discussion is going about that should hanging be allowed should capital punishment be allowed or not so crime and punishment can be the part of society can be the part of polity but where is economic survey is a survey of complete one year how we have performed what were the things which were not done and how we have to proceed as a bureaucrat as a civil servant you must be knowing about the vision and the aspiration of the government because you are not going to become because generally people think it is for my individual growth but becoming a civil servant is about the for the country for the people so you should know what government is doing economic service that document this is your current affairs that is also current affairs but that is a different sort of current affairs economic survey i hope you would have gone through both the volumes of it and now one book which i am i personally say you to go through is our indian economy now this book has been written by mr shri ram i hope you can see this book shri ram mr manish kumar itself he is an is officer posted in bihar and mr rohit deojha he is an irs officer he is posted in and he is working in he is posted in new delhi and he is working in niti ayog this book i have seen and we have tried to make it very concise you can see the size of the book as well and 
it covers all the important aspects for example uh, recently with the nobel prize the rct everything has been poverty eradication and randomized controlled trials everything has been covered in this book so this book i can suggest you you can buy on amazon right and you can buy on any bookseller that is available everywhere this book can solve your most of the purpose because it's not very lengthy it's very concise and it has been made from the perspective of an is aspirant what an is aspirant wants and plus it also covers many aspects of economic survey but i will suggest you to read original documents that is it is the it is simply to strengthen or re, for revision for economic survey but for indian economy the basic concepts can be covered through it we have tried to bring it i have personally worked on it to cover ncrt's gdp everything into it but even before you go for this book read your ncrt's it is an option for you a good option for you that if you can go through it definitely you should right any questions if we have guys all the best we are done and at the end yes one thing which i have left i was talking about then and there notes so when i was preparing i used to make notes this is my book can you see i hope clearly to all and i used to make notes then and there i'll show you how for example when i was studying something i was studying and i was making the notes of it there only and i used to staple it can you see that now this means i am not waste wasting my time by making separate sets and i used to write things i was i am not somebody who is fond of keeping books clean i just drawn everything because it was an art and culture so i have drawn how what is the type of temple can you see this it was very difficult to remember the type of temple and everything and i used to draw that. and this is something which i have again i done the research plus with that i have also made the glossary like this this was my approach everything what is mandal amalak anda uh, our best better better word you will encounter in your newspaper so i have drawn what is better so this is known as the real notes making exercise and this is not only for this this is something which i have done for and even we, this this was attached while i was showing you it flew away so it is true for every preparation every book whenever you read any book instead of making notes on a separate notebook make it there i think there is one question any question guys guys my email id it has been going to share it with you sherry.singh at the rate person.com next webinar is on 31st of jan 2019 we'll be talking about do's and don'ts of upsc and if you want me to also bring some newspaper or another discussion i am there for you again repeating my email id is sherry.singh s h e w r y dot s i n g h at the rate person dot com you can find me there and we can have a direct conversation interaction if need be we can have a telephonic conversation and join for our next webinar which is going to happen on 31st of jan 2020 20, not 2019 i'm sorry any questions if we have any and the timings will be same guys any questions if we have monica you have joined very late all well i hope all are going great everything is fine more questions guys questions if we bring if we can yes we got one no issues monica i hope everything is well and going great i am so sorry you have missed today today's webinar i think you are there with me and you have a direct discussion with me on email so we can discuss about indian economy as well so guys i am also planning to go for a, a telegram group okay you can watch it in the link no worries that's great okay guys then i hope it's over and you guys had been a very great audience my email id has been typed to you sherry.singh again i'm saying 
ओके 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 दैट्स गुड मोनिका एनी केस इफ यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम रिगार्डिंग योर ऑप्शनल एंड वी वॉन्ट टू हैव अ डिस्कशन वी कैन हैव अ टेलीफोनिक डिस्कशन इज वेल वी कैन हैव वन ग्रुप क्रिएटेड व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप where we can have discussion so that all of you are also joined there and definitely we can go ahead with it shall we log out okay guys this is sherry singh signing off today wish you all a very very happy new year uh, we have not created any group so far i can say in the future we are planning to have one group whatsapp group or a telegram group where you all can be there we can create that we are working on it so wish you all a very happy new year and have fun bye okay bye bye take care thank you so much harsimran and do join for the next webinar 31st of jan 2020 more questions anything which we want to discuss we can discuss and guys one request before i leave one request and which i want to make in this new year please be more interactive the more interactive you will be it will be easy for me to understand what you want so instead of having a generic and a very general webinars we can have a dedicated approach so that you can win the complete concept of coming here today or every time when i come with webinars it's not for anything else it is for you to win the mistakes or the experiences which i have i want to share it with you all so all the best take care and take care a good take a very good care of yourself i know it's winter so all the best bye bye Harsha, you have joined now. I've just seen it uh, when the webinar was about to end. All okay. So students, you are coming now. Why? Okay. Next time, guys, please be on time. Four to five, thirty-first of Jan, twenty twenty. Take care. All the best.